Welcome. In this video, I'm going to teach you what to say when you do talk to yourself. Yes, talk to yourself. Everyone talks to themselves. We have an internal chatterbox. Now, if you don't know me, I'm Gary Madison, and I'm the hypnotherapist here at Free Hypnosis Sessions. So it's really important that you do start to pay attention to the things that you do tell yourself. Because the things that you do tell yourself are usually the things that you have in your life right now good or bad. So over the next week I'd like to start to pay attention to things that you do tell yourself either internally or externally to other people. Then at the end of the week I want you to review this because doing so will show you if your internal dialogue is in tune with your wants or out of kilter. Now the reason why this is a good exercise is because your self-talk is like planting seeds into soil that is very rich and fertile. Now, obviously, you're not planting seeds into soil. You're putting ideas into the rich, fertile soil of your subconscious mind. But in a way, it's similar. Let me explain this. So just imagine in front of you is a plant pot that is full of rich, fertile soil. Now, because it's a plant pot, it really doesn't care what seeds you plant. If you planted some seeds from some weeds, you'd end up with weeds. Just like you'd end up with flowers if you planted flower seeds. Now, in a way, your mind's very similar to this plant pot. And just like the plant pot, it doesn't care what thoughts you plant, positive or negative, it will act upon either. So if we go back to the plant pot now, I want you to imagine now planting some cucumber seeds into that rich, fertile soil. Just imagine just sprinkling some cucumber seeds into that rich, fertile soil. Now, if you did this, what would grow? Well, Cucumbers, obviously. So let's imagine now you pick off one of those cucumbers and you bite into it. And instantly it brings you out in a rash. Now, if this did happen, would the plant pot occur? Well, no, it's a plant pot. However, if the plant pot could actually speak, it would say, well, don't blame me, it brought you out in a rash. You planted the cucumber seed. You ate the cucumber. I've only given you what you've actually put in. Now, in some way, this scenario is very similar to what happens when you use negative self-talk. You plant the seeds and your mind grows what you've planted, good or bad. So if you say to yourself that you find it difficult to lose weight, well, guess what? Your mind will act upon that statement and you'll find it difficult to lose weight. Now, what would happen if you planted another cucumber seed into the pot? Well, yeah you'd end up with another cucumber plant. The pot wouldn't think, ah, you don't like cucumbers. I'll give you strawberries instead. No, the plant pot just grows whatever you planted into it. Now, this is exactly your mind works. So would wishing for strawberries help if you planted a cucumber seed? Well, no. You only get what you planted. Now, this might seem rather simplistic. However, people do this constantly. A person might tell themselves they're not very confident and then spend time wishing they were confident. Now, it doesn't matter what you wish or how hard you might wish. You only get what you constantly tell yourself. So one of the keys to change is to first understand what thoughts you are planted into your mind. Then once you are aware of what thoughts you are planting, you, you can then change your self-talk to match the outcomes that you want. Now, we took the same approach with our plant pot. We could stop ourselves from planting cucumber seeds by replacing them with strawberry seeds instead. That way, we wouldn't have to wish for strawberries anymore. We'd get strawberries because that's what we're planting. So over the next week, really monitor your self-talk and you'll learn if you're planting weeds or flowers. And if you are planting weeds, negative statements, you might find my video explaining how to write effective affirmations really useful. So I hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you have, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And if you do have any questions, just leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. And until our next session, happy gardening.